In order to fully benefit from the freedoms of the single market, citizens and businesses need efficient public services across Europe. The European Commission's ISA, Interoperability Solutions for European Public Administrations programme, addresses this need by facilitating efficient and effective cross-border electronic collaboration. Concretely, ISA fosters interoperability in various layers. This includes a number of initiatives for promoting semantic interoperability in Europe. Lack of interoperability between European public administrations represents a major obstacle to the digital single market and to the provision of cross-border digital public services. Achieving semantic interoperability in this context is therefore vital, but it is hampered by the challenge of, for example, exchanging information in a multilingual environment, a lack of commonly agreed and widely used data models, different interpretations of the same data and the absence of common reference data. As technical standards for decades now foster technical interoperability, agreeing on and reusing common semantic interoperability assets like code lists, taxonomies, metadata standards and data models across the European Union is a vital step in facilitating semantic interoperability. In Europe, various initiatives such as project websites and national and standardization bodies web platforms provide repositories of semantic interoperability assets. These repositories are unlinked to isolated islands of specifications and are non-interoperable, implemented and maintained as separate entities at national and local level. Finding semantic interoperability assets is not at all easy. To solve this problem, a federation of asset repositories is being created to make them available and easy to retrieve via a single point of access through the Join Up EU platform. This is achieved by agreeing upon a common metadata vocabulary or asset description metadata schema to describe relevant assets. In this way, repository owners across the EU and beyond can use the ADMS specification to develop a broader community through a federation that is intended to grow as new members join. So, how does this work in practice? It's simple. Let's say a software developer in Romania wants to develop an information system in the educational sector. She can access the Federation through Join Up EU and query all repositories participating in the Federation to thereby identify already available semantic assets relating to the system she is developing. Once these resources are retrieved, she can then choose those that best match her project needs. Member states, standardization bodies and other repositories' owners view this initiative as an opportunity to promote their own work to a wide EU audience. Furthermore, the Federation promotes semantic interoperability and reduces information systems development costs. The European Commission can exploit the Federation to establish and align available specifications, thereby improving interoperability for the future.